أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء بنيناها بأيد وإنا لموسعون والأرض فرشناها فنعم الناهدون ومن كل شيء خلقنا My name is Mahmoud Chandia. I have been assigned the duty of being your compere for this evening. So the first category, brothers and sisters, is the category of most innovation service. And the winner for this category is Hero Central Mosque. Muslim communities in this country are the most generous communities and that is something which we should be proud of and we shouldn't stop there we should give even more and so the winner for the best charity service is it's not me <laughs> Al Madina Mosque mashallah we are very honored to be receiving this award for the second year running alhamdulillah it's a real honor to be before such a distinguished group of mosque leaders that our community needs to grow. Your collaborative leadership and innovative approaches to day-to-day -day challenges exemplify the spirit of community conscientiousness. I'm honored to be presenting the award for the best green service to Cambridge Central Mosque. I would like to thank Brother Shokat Varaj, Faith Associates, for recognizing and celebrating the important and tremendous work that mosques up and down the country do. For tonight, we're going to celebrate and recognize the most impactful Imam. And the winner, the most impactful Imam is Muhammad Hamad from Ikra Mosque. So Imam Hamad. I'd just like to say a massive thank you, first and foremost, uh, to my family. The inspiration I take, I'm getting a bit emotional here, uh, it's predominantly from my father and my brother, as well as my wife, who are the driving forces behind my successes. And likewise, the Ikra team as well. And it's an absolute huge success for us as a small community in Coventry. We're not a massive place. You know, it's a congregation of no more, th no more than 500 on a Juma. But again, you know, getting to those grassroots levels of making a difference right from our youngsters right to the elderly. You know, the, the satisfaction that you feel at the end of it when you see a student grow from point A to point B, when you see someone from, from when they were struggling with anxieties and depression, and you see the fruits when they come out of it as a stronger person, you can't put a price on that. You can't put a price on that. The nominated mosques recognize the role of a woman, the role a woman has to play in our community. The Hive El Medina Mosque. Assalamu alaikum. Um, just a few words from us, the sisters at the Hive. Um, we are very humbled and honoured to win this award. Um, the Hive, I think we've met a lot of you here tonight. We're actually a bespoke women's centre that has opened as part of um, Al Medina Mosque Embarking. We are a group of sisters who are all from very diverse backgrounds, as you can see, both professionally, ethnically. Um, and what we're trying to do is empower Muslim women in the community. To be celebrating an award which is about outreach, outreach into the community beyond our Muslim faith, to those of other faiths and none, is absolutely amazing. And the winner is, and dare I say, the royals might have influenced this, Al Manar.
goes to the uh, team at al Manar who are not here all tonight, but want to say thank you to all of them. Best elderly service, which is my age group, winner is Khizra Mosques. I'm particularly privileged and honored to give the best Madrasa award. Winner is Al Furkan, mashallah. People who are presented and those who are not nominated and shortlisted, they are doing brilliant job. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, they are all winners. Wa Jazakumullah Khairan wa Salaam Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa The winner of the best youth service is the Guidance Hub. Thank you so much, um, Subhanallah. We we are inspired by all the other nominees and, and to be honest my daughter was rooting for somebody else so this comes by a complete surprise uh, thank you so much thank you to our volunteers thank you to our trustees uh, may Allah reward you all <laughs> and thank you to faith associate for association for having us here it's been a great honor brother Baraj, thank you very much for the invite this is really uh, something unique that i've experienced i've done 30 years, three years of service, but I have never experienced this thing before. Mosque, all of you know, it has its unique position in any society. It's all about humanity. Whatever you have talked about, whatever you are doing as institutions, as uh, individuals. So heartiest congratulations to the winner, Greenland Mosque. said one who is not thankful to the people will not be thankful to Allah so as religious people whenever there are blessings or nehma we have to show thankfulness to the people who supported it the volunteers the staff and others but ultimately Allah because it's that thankfulness that ties down that nehma and that blessing um, so uh, just one last thing just to build on what Sister Nashah was saying, uh, we're acutely aware at Green Lane Masjid of the rise in Islamophobia. In 2013, one of our key congregation members, Muhammad Saleem, was murdered by a far-right extremist on his way home from Isha. So this one's for Muhammad Saleem. To all those participants, masjids, madrasas, who have been nominated in the different categories. A well done to all of you. So tonight at Beacon Mosque Awards, we are accrediting those madrasas who have really grasped the, these standards.